welcome Naveen Bhuliya for the Party Universal show. Good evening. A very good evening to you, sir. What is your early background? Early background, my father was in the army, so I have grown up, uh, you know, uh, as a child in army background. And uh, plus, I was always myself wanting to be an army officer, so I uh, took admission in the National Defence Academy and underwent three years of training at the National Defence Academy. One year at the Indian Military Academy. This is what I do. Uh, what level you joined the army? I would have joined as an officer, and uh, I wanted to join the special forces as a commando. How did you meet with an accident and? Uh... What was the percentage of disability you underwent? I met with this accident. Uh, I completed four years of training and uh, all everything, all tests, everything was over and it was just a matter of chance. I was taking part in a competition, obstacle crossing competition. There is a set of 17 uh, obstacles, infantry obstacles, and uh, the whole company crosses it as a competition. Uh, so while taking part in that, I was the captain of the team. So it was just a matter of chance that I fell from about 8 feet height and I broke my neck in which my whole body was paralyzed and even my hands, legs, nothing could move and only my eyes moved. And in that condition I spent about two years in the hospital. Two years you were in the hospital? Two years I was in the hospital and the medical disability was 100%. 100%. How did you overcome this challenge then? See, being a sportsman and undergoing tough training, I have myself always taken tough decisions. I have taken challenges on myself. If I was to serve in the special forces, then it is itself a very challenging job. So I was always ready and prepared to take on difficulties in my life. So I knew something like this could happen also. So maybe I was more accepting towards it and I could put in the hard work and efforts required to come out of it. I was mentally already prepared and trained to face tough situations. Having said that, every moment and every day was difficult and nearly it took me two years to even get into a wheelchair. But again, I don't I don't mind hard work. I enjoyed that part of my life also. Even two years in the hospital, I enjoyed it. I used to joke, laugh and study also and learn also. What is your present age? I am going to be 40 this year. And how your family members are supporting in, at this stage? Family, friends, relatives, everybody were, they were a great support when I met with the accident also. But beyond that, you know, one has to always be strong oneself. Now, if you, if we are complaining every day, then nobody will stand and support you every day. You have to be strong yourself. If you are strong, then you become support for them. So today, I, you know, I see that I can support my family, I can support my friends, I can help my friends. I am in that position. So, uh, one has to be strong oneself. What are your present activities? Because now, how do you manage your present activities? See, I am into adventure sports. I made a world record in adventure sports. I do a lot of driving, traveling. I run a social welfare organization for underprivileged children, in which we work with street children, village children, and uh, different other types of children. So I am a published author in two languages. So I have my uh, English book, In Quest of the Last Victory, which has been published by Pearson Education. And I have my Hindi book called We Rusko Janmi, which has been published by Prabhat Prakash. So I'm a writer also. And this is what I do as of now. Now you said you are driving. How are you able to manage the driving? Do you have any special uh, facilities in your uh, car? I have been driving for nearly 16 years now. And uh, 15 years now, in fact. And uh, I, have to, I have to design my own controls because at that time nobody was driving. And with my disability, level of disability, driving or uh, manual transmission cars, there is nobody, no person in the whole world who is a quarter pleasing in driving manual transmission cars. So I have, to, I have had to design my controls myself. All the foot controls are in hand, clutch, brake, accelerator, gear, steering of course is in hand itself. And my hands are only 10% functional, the fingers of my hand don't work. But again with practice I am able to do it. When was this accident happened? Which year it was? How many years back? This was... Uh, this was uh, April 29, 1995, about 18 years. 18 years back. Since how long you were driving the vehicle? Uh, I started driving vehicle, yeah, about oh. 15 years back. Oh, 15 years. 3 years back. post my injury. After the post injury? Yeah, 3 years after my injury. 30 years. Sir. Are you driving now in the daily busy daily roads also? Everywhere. I, I have driven to Chennai, I have driven to Leh Ladakh, I have driven all over the country. Now also, are you uh, seriously interested in the sports, car sports? Yes, I am very much interested and I pursue adventure sports. Adventure gives me an opportunity to experience my life at the extremes, you know, may get more out of life. And in 2004, I made a world record 
by driving from New Delhi to Marsanekla, which is 18,632 feet height, over 1,200 feet higher than the base camp of Mount Everest. And I did this uh, driving from Delhi to that place non-stop in 55 hours without any break. This is a record which stands for nine years now, and uh, nobody, even with a healthy body, has been able to attempt to even attempt to break it. Now also you are joining any other sports in the recent uh, past five years? I have been I have been pursuing flying powered hand gliders and micro light aircraft and uh, I want to continue more in the future, do more on that in the future. What is your message to the youngsters? Because nowadays, uh, you know, even the smallest uh, problems, uh, our younger generation is finding it difficult to manage or to cope with that. What is your uh, message? What I would like to tell is, Take on difficulties and challenges in your life. Take on tough decisions. Your life would be different based on how many difficulties and challenges you have to face in your life. You don't succeed despite the difficulties. You succeed because of the difficulties. Unless there is, you know, sometimes people express surprise that so and so succeeded despite facing difficulties. I say I will be surprised if somebody succeeds without facing difficulties. So believe in difficulties and challenges in life. Well, thank you, Navin, for your uh, wonderful thank time you. and your uh, inspiring uh, interview. I hope uh, the listeners will take a message from your life. Uh, thank you very much, Navin. Thank you so much.